Well, thanks for joining me today. I am finally getting around after two weeks to making a video uh, to show you guys the things that I found in the river uh, when I was snorkeling and um, I had a snorkel mask and I was just kind of fanning the bottom uh, looking for stuff at an area that was used as a dump back in like the night a town like a town dump back in the 1940s and maybe early 50s and i'll put a link to that video in the video comments but what i'm going to do today is just kind of show you everything i found uh, during that video because a lot of people had asked me to do that i didn't really take the time that day because <laughs> i was very tired and there's just too much stuff to lay out on the rocks now in front of me and what i'm going to show you now is actually two hunts okay uh, I went down there again, but I didn't make a video. Uh, so I've actually been there a total of uh, four times this year. This is two hunts. And I have a box full of stuff over there that you, I think you've pretty much seen all that stuff. So we don't need to go through that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the type of artifacts that people were throwing away in the 1950s, 1940s. And they include a bunch of coins I have here, some tokens, and just all kinds of neat little things. So what we're going to do is I'll bring you over here. We'll slowly go through it. Well, not too slowly. And I'll show you some things and identify a few things for you. And there's a couple things in here. I don't know what they are. And maybe you guys can help me with identification on that. So what do you say? Want to take a look? Come on over here. All right, so I have to put my little glasses on so I can see up close and see what you're seeing. But let's go ahead and take a look. So here's just a quick overview of the stuff that I found on the hunt. Uh, last two hunts that you have not seen yet. You see I got a bunch of coins down here. This is the box over here that I have my stuff in from uh, the two hunts previous that I've already showed you all the stuff and had up some 50 cent piece coins in there and a bunch of neat things. But let's go ahead take a seat and look at some of these things up close and hopefully you can help me identify a few things. <laughs> I hope I can get yeah even with my uh, glasses so I can see this heck getting old. All right, let's take a look. Let's just start here. Do you guys see anything in here that you want me to identify? Let me know in the video comments and give me a timestamp. And I'll try to identify if I can. You notice there's a lot of melted stuff. That's because they used to burn uh, dumps. You know, after they put a bunch of junk, well, well, they don't do it anymore. But I, I can't remember when they used to just light everything on fire to burn everything down. But, well, that's some type of... Uh, scale or something right there has numbers on it didn't notice that before but you can see there's a lot of silverware in here uh, pins that's you know domestic stuff like that these are i think these are compression washers for like spark plugs and stuff like that there's a lot of car stuff in here uh see anything else of interest i just can't get over the amount of uh knives and forks and spoons that's a uh that's a bullet right there that was fired so that was done probably after the dumping era. These little pieces of a like necklace or chain, I think it kind of reminds me of like dog tags, and that could be what that went to, chain for dog tags. That's what we had when I was in anyway. I'm not sure about this thing right here. That's some type of, I don't know if that's a plate to something. I guess it's a, like a front plate to something. I'm not really sure about that. What else we see in here? Anything good? A lot of brass. I just picked up everything that was brass, pretty much, or copper, or silver. <laughs> see some melted things here. I don't know what most of this stuff is, I'll be honest with you. Uh, just bits and, you know, that can go to almost anything, really, I suppose. That's the part of a mason jar lid. That's ceramic right there. That belt buckle. Oh, look at all these marbles. That's pretty cool. All these marbles were in there. Uh, these are part of a some type of musical instrument. I think someone told me in another video, but I really don't remember. And of course, that's probably to a harmonica, harmonica reed. A doorknob. It's kind of pretty, isn't it? Like that. This is a uh, this is some type of electrical connection thing. I do believe, not a hundred percent, but I'm pretty sure. All right, so let's go ahead and take uh, some close up of some of this stuff. This is all the better stuff right here in the front that I wanted to show you. I'm not really sure if there's a better way or more easy way for me to do this with you guys because there's just so much stuff here. It's just, it's overwhelming <laughs> to me anyway. All right, let's take a look at the good stuff. All right, so let's start with some of these artifacts over here. This is the first thing I want to talk about. And a lot of you guys probably know what this is already if you watch my videos. But this is a carbon core out of a battery. 
Now you find these in all different sizes when you're metal detecting. For some reason, that carbon gives off a uh, signal with a metal detector, kind of like a high squeak. But I just wanted to show that to you because I did find a bunch of them in there. And let's just kind of go down the line here. This is some of the stuff in the front that I thought was of interest. Now these, I'd love to know what they are. I think they're related because, well, they're kind of made almost, they have the same type of form. And I believe that when I first found these, I thought that it was some type of gauge for like sparks, gapping spark plugs. But I'm not so sure because all of these are the same uh, width. But they may have been things inside that slid out that have rotted away. That's what I first thought when I saw that. This is something a little bit different though. I don't know how that would work. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of you guys out there that know exactly what those are. This is a little uh, wrist watch that has seen better days. I don't think I'll ever be able to really identify that. I think this little brassy piece here is off of a musical instrument of some sort. I think that's a lever that you push down, like a clarinet or something like that. I'm pretty sure, not 100%. I'm not really much into music, so I don't really know. Love to know what these are. I have found these. I found a couple of these down there. Uh, the other one I have is actually complete. Looks like it's something that you push down and they, maybe they, they, you know some other teeth go into there. Uh, like a clutch, like some type of little clutch off of something. Not sure about that. That's the inside to probably a watch or a clock or something like that. Not 100%. Lots of keys, door keys down there. Notice that a lot of them are broken, so people just throw them away once they're broken. That's a ball bearing. Looks kind of like a uh, musket ball, but it's made out of iron. That's probably just a steel ball bearing. That's part of a harmonica reed right there. Lots of like these little lids. That's like toothpaste tube lid or something that's made out of not lead but probably some type of alloy lead alloy uh, it's pretty soft there's some more melted lead uh, and again they had fires down there that's part of a pocket watch that's probably the back some fired rifle cartridges and uh, again little buckles there these are grommets from tents Again, if you see anything in here you don't know what it is and you want me to try to identify it, just let me know. Give me a timestamp and I'll, I'll try to figure it out. Well, there's another one of those things right there. didn't realize I had two of them. Little keys. We call them skeleton keys, but they're actually of another name. The skeleton key, I think, is a master key from what I was reading somewhere. I think these are fascinating. These are, of course, uh, razors for shaving, men's razors. I think that's probably some type of Bakelite material, which was like a early forerunner to a plastic but yeah i think those are just really cool that's older that's a style i've never seen i've used this style before when i was a wee lad <laughs> uh, but yeah so you find a, found a number of those this is like a steak bone uh, from uh you know a meat a cow or something and you can see that's where they cut it that's how thick it was right there and that's what's left i guess i got buried so it didn't wash away in the floods that's a little locket of some sort. I opened it up to see if there was any gold coins in there, but there aren't. Might have had a picture in there one day. You guys know what this is? Old timers do, new timers probably don't. That's actually uh, part of a pen. The kind of pen you would dip into ink to write. Uh, you don't, uh, you just, I can't remember what they call it. I wanna say squib, but I could be wrong. <laughs> or hung on that. Little tiny bottle, that's kind of cute as I went ahead and saved it. Now this is one thing, if you guys know what it is, I'd love for you to tell me. So I found a number of these things. They all seem to be broken, and I almost recognize what that should be, but I just can't quite figure it out. Um, they're all broken like that, though. That looks, reminds me of some type of, like, keyway, you know, right here, but I, I just don't know for sure. What's that little thing? You guys recognize that? Huh, there's a spring on it, so I'm not sure what. That's weird. I'm not sure what that is. And some type of little doodad here. It's a hold cartridge. It's center fire, so it's we know it's not Civil War era. These are little buttons. They're probably made out of bone, or you know, mother of pearl. Not bone, but I meant mother of pearl. Uh, shells, shell buttons. Little snaps. I think these are probably. I have a feeling those might be a military strap, maybe World War II era, because I did we do find a, a number of World War II stuff in there. Some more in these belt buckles here. Little lockets. So, this is a dog tax. I can't read the date on it. 
I have another thing down here. It's from 1943, like, so that's World War II era. Another brass key, you know, probably a door key or something like that. Lots of little things like that. That's kind of cute. I'm not sure what that is. Looks oriental almost. That is a interesting piece there too. I'm not exactly sure what that is either. Some type of jewelry, I imagine. These little bromo seltzer lids. There's a lot of those down there. I imagine they were part of a cap, probably that went on it. Although I'm not 100% on that either. Another tax, dog tax probably. Radio Division 107. Probably came off a radio. I, I have no idea. This is a brooch. It's really weird because it's almost, um, it's like it's made out of lead or pewter or something like that. But you can see it had the hooks on the back right here went across. I can't imagine it was very pretty, but maybe it had some type of enameling on it or painted or something. I thought that looked like a dromedary or a camel, but I think it just melted. I don't know. I mean, it looks like a melted camel, but it could just be lead. And some other things. It's another, I don't know if we looked at that locket yet or not, but there's another one. I tried to get it open, but I couldn't open it, but I might try to force it after a while. thought this was a letter H, but I don't really believe it is anymore. It had a pin here of some sort. I don't know why it would be connected there, but I'm not sure what that is either. Let's take a look at these coins and other things here. I don't know what that is. This is, it's got glass in it. I'm thinking that could be some type of like sight gauge for oil or something. I'm not really sure what that is. These little tokens right here, this is actually a um, token from the Washington DC Transit Authority. So they're probably like uh, trolley tokens. They're from the 1940s, I think mostly. And these are just, I'm not sure what those are. They're just like little blanks. I thought they were coins, but they're not. And some more um, little tags of some sort. Here's some coins. Uh, unfortunately, with a lot of the coins, it looks like they were in a fire because they're pretty rough shape. These are all wheat pennies right here dating from uh, the 1920s, 30s, 40s. I think the, early, the newest one I have is early 1950s. Uh, but they're all in rough shape. I do have this nickel here. Can't get a date off. You can see it's really pitted badly. That's a Roosevelt dime. Might be able to get the date off of that, but I need to really scrape it. And of course, a mercury dime too. Can't quite get the date off of that. And this is a World War II era mercury dime or uh, Roosevelt. Let's go ahead and flip her over and um, take a look at them on this side. And you can see they're actually in pretty rough shape. That one's actually, it's some good. That would probably clean up good if I took my time. Uh, it's got some pretty good detail on it, too. Uh, real shame about these wheat pennies. Uh, but, you know, you take what you can find. This is a little uh, cross, some type of cross somebody would wear, I, I imagine. Um, but, yeah, so that's about it, really. I know that was kind of quick, but I don't want the video to run too long. And uh, so you've got kind of an overview of the type of stuff that you might find in a dump uh, from the 1940s and 50s. I think it's fascinating. Boy over there thinks it's fascinating to hear him saying, Ooh, ooh, it's so fascinating, Jig. <laughs> but seriously, if you have any questions about something, what is this? I found these before. Boy, what? You want to go out, don't you? You want to go out and play, don't you? Yes, yeah, you do. <laughs> he uh, only has like one toe on that foot. He was a misfit that we adopted. Yeah, so if you know what this thing is, I'd really be interested to hear because I found these before. I, I don't know if they're part of a vehicle or not. One I found actually had like a glass ball in it that maybe that was added. I'm not sure, you know, at a later date. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it's kind of helter skelter the way I had it set up, but. Uh, I just want to kind of get it done. Get, oh, wait a second. I also have a, um, you probably saw this already, but this is a Chinese coin. Now, the neat thing about Chinese coins is that a lot of them are like really old. I mean, they might have been lost in the 1900s, but they could be four, five, six hundred years old. I found that out when I was down in Australia because down in Australia, they had a lot of, of the Chinese came over working over the gold camps. And in their camps, where you know where they had their camp set up, they lost tons of these coins, and they're all like three, four hundred years old, five hundred years old. Now this has been in a fire. I can't really make out the designs on it very well. Um, 
I don't know if this is enough there to be able to date it, but their site's online where you can actually look these uh, symbols up pretty easily and you can date them. This is so bad, I just don't know if it's going to work. So I probably won't even try. So I'm going to go ahead and call it quits. Uh, pet boy a little bit and get this stuff uh, put away so that Lindsay can have a clean table. I'm just going to put it all in one box. And if you guys want to see everything together on the table, I can always put it back out again, including that stuff. But you've already seen that, so we probably won't bother with it. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one, I hope. <laughs> She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep.